Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll discuss about a common dilemma between engineering students. Should you prepare for gate or placements? So there are advantages and disadvantages of both of these options. So we'll discuss both of these in details. First things first, why are many students turning their attention to gate all of a sudden? Simply, the job market in the recent years haven't been that great. Placements have also been pretty low. That's why more people have opted to prepare for gate for better opportunities. So in the next section, I will discuss what things you should keep in mind to prepare for gate or if you are to prepare for placements or which option you should choose if you are currently a third year or second year student. So let's go to the next section of the video. So let's discuss what things you have to prepare for gate and placements. Now according to that, you can opt for which option you should choose. So you can do both side by side also, it all depends on how much pressure you can take. So let's study with the, uh, let's start with a comparison. So for GATE, you have to master all the subjects. What do you mean by all the subjects? Whichever branch you are giving your GATE exam, you are appearing for your GATE exam, right? There will be around 10 to 9 to 12 subjects depending on your branch and you have to study all the subjects because mostly what will happen the weightage will be equal and a few uh, subjects will be of lower weightage but mostly they will be of equal weightage you have to study all the subjects thoroughly but for placements what is the difference here you have to study particular subjects let's say you want to get placed in the cs domain right coding domain so you have to mainly focus on dsa other subjects are also there but main focus should be on dsa and you have to have very good in-depth knowledge of dsa let's say you want to prepare in the analog domain or in the digital domain if you want to prepare for an electronics company so then you have to prepare analog electronics and digital electronics very well that level of theoretical knowledge is not required here right and also here you have to have the intuition as well because you have to prepare for interviews as well you have to give the written test also you have to give the interviews so you have to prepare accordingly here for gate when you are preparing for gate you don't have to give any interviews but after gate you have to prepare for mtech interviews or if you want to apply for psus you have to give interviews in the psus but so th for that you will get time but here after your uh, test right after your screening test you have to give your interviews uh, just instantaneously just one two days after that so you have to prepare for interviews along with your screening test also so that is the first difference here another one big factor is you are preparing for gate whole year one whole year and only once the examination will occur and if for some reason god forbid your health is not good or for some reason you mess up the examination you will not get another chance within that year again you have to wait another year and then you will give gate examination okay but here what will happen uh, like one company came right your placement season has started one company came for some reason you couldn't uh, clear the OA or your interview uh, didn't went well it's okay because another company will come in in electronics domain the companies are lesser okay but like the uh, competition also is lesser so uh, it cancels out uh, but here like the more companies will come right so it's okay if you mess up one uh, written test or one interview so that is okay uh, so yeah that is the difference first thing here right in the placements thing you have to keep in mind other things also about projects and internships so here you don't have to take care of projects you just have to, you just have to study study and study okay thoroughly about projects for coding domain yes you have to prepare a few projects because nowadays they are seeing your resume and stuff but for analog and digital domain you have to prepare projects but don't uh, like devote too much time into these projects you have to devote time accordingly first you have to master your fundamental subjects uh, network analog digital then you devote your time to projects okay do do them side by side you have to understand this okay so that is first thing and also about internships you have to look out for internships also for coding uh, like internships finding internships are easier for uh, analog or digital in the electronics domain it is a uh, bit tougher so yeah you have to look out for on-campus internships okay and also you have to look out in the careers website of for off-campus jobs for coding it is like there are uh, more off-campus jobs than electronics domain okay so yeah that is one thing then also about referral and resume so these this also you have to keep in mind basically uh like you have to have a resume as well in gate you don't have to create any resume after giving the gate examination you can create a resume you, you have abundant of time but here you have to uh, like uh, make a resume as well and don't worry for coding domain your resume should be very good but for electronics domain right your resume don't need to be some like very uh, big thing right 
even a normal resume will work here no worries okay but uh, what things you should keep in your resume if you are preparing for placements in the electronics domain i will make one video okay later on so don't worry okay just don't devote too much time into this the, the main priority should be this right master your particular subjects like uh, for coding dsa and for uh, electronics domain analog digital network all those things then you go to this this i'm talking about b tech guys not about m tech guys m tech guys are already doing projects they are already doing everything so they don't have to worry anything right they, they are doing everything in their college itself okay so then obviously i told right prepare for interview so interviews are actually pretty in depth and they ask you things from intuition you have to develop the intuition as well in gate you don't have to develop the intuition but if you develop the intuition right few questions you can solve instantaneously okay with within seconds so this intuition also helps in uh solving in the examination as well but uh don't have to you don't have to have intuition you can solve directly with normal formulas or normal theoretical knowledge right but here bit of intu intuition is required the interviewer also sees your intuition as well okay now you have to study other core subjects as well what are the other core subjects like for uh coding domain like computer networks like computer architecture and other other sub topics right other sub topics you have to study those are also asked interviews but not that much not that much but those are also asked so you have to study those as well but here obviously you have to study less you have to study those subjects less but here all the core subjects you should have complete knowledge of okay so the breadth of subjects here is more but here yeah you your main focus should be on main fundamental subjects then this you should have a brief idea of okay so yeah these are the difference between placements and gate okay so now let's uh, basically come to the conclusion here so what do you want to conclude here so i want to conclude that if you are from a tier 3 non cs background okay tier 3 college non cs background then definitely you have no option but to choose gate okay you have to choose gate because uh, like your college in your college you don't have any placements okay you don't have any research opportunities so you have to choose gate there is no option now for other uh, colleges right tier 1 and like tier 2 students it depends it depends you you can do both of these together if you want to explore both of the opportunities or you can choose one of them it depends how much effort you can give okay you want to give effort in this area or in this area obviously after giving gate if you go to mtech in iits you will get placements over here no worries here also you get placements but depends how good the placements are in your college if if they are not that good then you have to go to iits and like give gate and go to iits right so yeah that is one thing now should you choose coaching or not it totally depends on you you can prepare from free as well youtube there are many resources we are also uploading uh, on prefusion our uh, topics subjects okay you can watch that also it totally depends on you if you have the money i will tell you you can choose coaching now which coaching to choose it totally depends on you from which teacher are you matching your frequency okay that is totally like dependent on particular students i can hand pick cherry pick each student okay so if you have the money you can go for the coaching if you don't have you can uh, prepare from youtube how to prepare we have already made a road map in our channel i will put the link in the comments below you can go to the road map and you can totally see how to prepare for gate 2025 right these two things i want to conclude so basically yeah these are the overall summary that i have told like who should prepare for gate and who should prepare for placements so i hope you like this video if you did do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video